Israel is soon set to become the first country other than the U.S. to have an F-35 stealth fighter jet squadron. The 50 planes are to be delivered in installments, starting with the first two tomorrow. Joining me in the studio today is a former head of Israeli Air Force Intelligence, Brigadier General Ram Shmueli, to tell us more about the new aircraft. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. All right, so, you know, Israel currently has a good-sized fleet of F-16s. Now, what are the main differences between the F-16s and the F-35s, and, and why do we need these F-35s? It's a whole new generation of uh, airplane. Actually, this is the fifth generation. People uh, speaking that the next generation will be unmanned uh, airplane, but as for now, for the next 40 years, we have the F-35, which is the most advanced airplane in the world, and it's bringing a lot of capabilities than, uh, we, that we don't have in the F-16s and F-15s. Tell us about some of those capabilities. So, first of all, it flies very fast. It can go uh, beyond the radar, so it actually the radar can detect those airplanes, so it can go high and attack very uh, uh, far away from the targets. And uh, actually the capability of EW, uh, the electronic uh, capability, the uh, uh, war electronic capability, it protects this airplane kind of an envelope around this airplane that can protect it to go everywhere unseen and very well protected against missiles and all the other threats that uh, jet airplanes uh, face in the war arena. Interesting. So uh, uh, it, uh, the, the maintenance uh, of this airplane is very new. The, uh, the capabilities inside the airplanes, this is the most advanced American uh, avionics, but uh, luckily we have our own segment in this uh, airplane. We have the freedom to put some Israeli innovation, Israeli uh, high-tech inside this airplane, and this makes the Israeli version very unique and uh, Even different. Even better, right? So, you know, I also understand that there, um, there is an accompanying helmet for pilots within this plane that has some special features. Can you tell us about them? The most advanced uh, helmet sight in the airplanes in the world, uh, this is Elbit system, Israeli uh, Elbit system uh, helmet sight. And this helmet sight, we have it on our F-16 and F-15s. But the new uh, version of the helmet sight on the F-35 is much more advanced since actually can detect a couple of targets in the same time. So actually you fly there and I look at you as a target and I don't have to fly to your direction. I can shoot a missile and it can go like this and it go here and it can uh, uh, shoot a couple of targets in the same time. So it's uh, very uh, well advanced. It's science fiction, but it is working on those airplanes and this is Israeli... Uh, uh, high-tech uh, industrial that put inside those airplanes. Now, there are some criticizing reports about the F-35 plane saying that they need a lot of repairs, um, or there are at least a few things that need to be worked on within the planes, and that they're actually not worth all of the money that, you know, the Israeli army is paying for them. How do you respond to these critics? Are these, are these fair criticisms? Back in 1995, I was the one, I was a squadron commander that we bought the, the new version of F-16, F-16 C and D. And every time you got a new airplane, you have some maintenance uh, uh, technologies that are new for you, and you have to be and it's challenging to make it uh, better and to cope with all those uh, uh, capabilities, new capabilities, new technology. Nevertheless, every generation, we adopt, we have the best people in the squadron and in the team base, and we learn those systems and we are ready to fix them in case of uh, malfunctions. So every airplane that come to the fleet got kind of a almost double, if we usually we have 2% uh, malfunction in F-16, so new airplanes have 4% malfunctions, but in two or three years we get used to it and then it goes down to 2%. So in a sense, it's the birth, uh, uh, birth problem that have every airplane that we buy. Now, I mean, you personally having, you know, been in the air, had such a high position in the Air Force, having dealt with this, like you said, in the 1990s, do you have any concerns regarding the F-35 plane specifically specifically that haven't been released or discussed in the public? The big issue, of course, is this capability of long-range 
a very secret, uh, unseen uh, capability of this airplane. As we know for now, this uh, is well proved in the American Air Force, and we see it uh, operational in the last three, four years in the American Air Force. Uh, this technology is also working on the F-22 that runs in the American Air Force for almost 15 years. So, in a sense, I, I feel that we have now a kind of a breakthrough of capability of the Israeli Air Force, and this is only the first shipment. We are going to buy two squadrons, and in the future maybe more, and it will solve a couple of the uh, technology and a couple of uh, capabilities that we want to enhance in the last couple of years. What are some of those capabilities and specifically? You said this, you know, is Israel is going to be adding its own technology. What, what can we expect? Are we allowed to know about some of this technology? We are well known for our air-to-air uh, -air missiles. Uh, those missiles are a slew to the helmet site. So Israeli Python 5 and maybe in the future more than that Python 6, those are the most advanced missiles, air-to-air -air missiles. This is one hand. On the other hand, we have a very uh, developed industry of weapons. And the issue is how many targets can one airplane can uh, hit, uh, how many targets it can hit simultaneously. If we, we compare to 1973 war, we got four ship formation. They went for one target. Today, one F-16, one F-16 can hit four targets. And this F-35, one airplane can hit 15 and 20 targets in the yeah. same time. So the issue is how much it is uh, effective and how, how much it can destroy the uh, targets in the enemy territory uh, efficiently and quickly. Now, are there any comparable aircrafts that exist right now, you know, in other countries in the world? Or does the F-35 really give Israel the military advantage uh, that it needs to, to maintain a leader militarily in the Middle East? Always in the last 50 years, uh, when the American built the new version of airplane, the Chinese and the Soviet and the Russians are going a uh, couple of years uh, later and they built something different but uh, equivalent to the new airplane. So in the future, we will face kind of uh, Russians or Chinese, uh, those kind of developed uh, fifth generation airplane. But as we know from the last years, they will never hit the capability of the American airplanes, and mainly when you add to these American airplanes those Israeli technology. So here is my final question for you, and, and you mentioned this to me before we started our interview, but you know, right now we're in a generation where we do have pilots, you know, within planes, but there's a chance that we're going to have planes that soon exist without anybody driving them, no pilots. What is, when is that going to happen? Do you think that's going to happen anytime soon? And what will that look like for Israel? What will that mean for Israel? Luckily, I was born in the time that there is a main airplane. But uh, to uh, address your question, Israel have many uh, unmanned airplanes right now. But the mixture, the capability of a main airplane is still the most uh, capable airplane that we have. So the mixture between the unmanned airplanes, which ca we can bring many of those, and some very advanced airplanes like the F-35 and of course the F-16 and the F-15, this kind of mixture is now the best uh, way we can run our Air Force. In the future, yes, you're right, in 2050, maybe we'll have only unmanned airplane. Is that something good? Is that something that Israel would want and, and see as a positive advancement? The question is how much we are efficient and we can uh, cope with the enemy capabilities. If we can do it with no uh, pilots, it's fine. As for now, we can't. We need this F-35 and we are very happy to have them tomorrow morning. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming in and uh, giving us some more information about these incredible aircraft.